Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Today, we are going to be talking about the Quick Access Toolbar. That's this guy that lives in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Now, the cool thing about the Quick Access Toolbar is that it's always there. It doesn't matter what tab on the ribbon you're on, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you can very quickly and easily get to the commands on the Quick Access Toolbar. And that means that you want to customize it to work the way that you work so you can work super fast. So that means that you want to put your most frequently used commands on the Quick Access Toolbar and you want to clean it up. Get rid of any of those commands that you're not using all the time, okay? For example, if you have one of the last couple of releases of AutoCAD, you'll notice that they added the drop down list for workspaces to the quick access toolbar. Picks up quite a bit of room too, I might say. <laughs> Which is fine, I mean, I use workspaces all the time. But you also have workspaces in the lower right hand corner of the screen on the status bar. So I don't need it both places. Now maybe you like the text to be able to quickly move back and forth from workspace to workspace, no problem. You can click on workspace settings and hit display workspace label. Now it looks exactly the same. All right, let's get rid of the one on the quick access toolbar. Easy to do, right click, we move from the quick access toolbar and it's out of there. All right, <laughs> so now we wanna add some of the commands that we use all the time. For example, I do not like having to go to the home tab on the ribbon every time I wanna change my current layer. I would love to have this drop down list on the quick access toolbar. That's easy to do, super easy. Right click on it. You can right click actually on any tool in the ribbon and you'll see the option for add to the quick access toolbar and there it is right up there. So now it's easy for me to change my current layer or turn layers off or whatever it is I want to do. Super speedy, All right? That's just one example. So you can also click on this arrow at the very end of the quick access toolbar and you'll see some other basic options. Maybe you use the sheet set manager all the time. You could put that up there. It's a pretty limited list though. <laughs> So you probably want to select more commands. This gives you access to all the AutoCAD commands, including like specific types of objects, like not just circle, but maybe a three point circle, for example. So customize it, make it work the way you want to work. So I'm going to type in erase, search for any command that you want. And then it's literally just a matter of dragging and dropping it so that it lands on the quick access toolbar. <laughs> make sure you put it where you want it to go. For example, I put it between undo and redo, which is fine, <laughs> it's fine. So you can continue to search for commands and you can continue to drag and drop it. So that's another way that you can add commands to the quick access toolbar. All right, I'm gonna say an okay, because we're finished with that. All right, so now as you start to add more and more commands to the quick access toolbar, you might find that you run out of room. We're kind of limited, right? So. You'll also see if you click on that arrow an option to show below the ribbon. Ah, now you have lots and lots and lots of room to customize the quick access toolbar. Plus, you don't have to burn quite so many calories by going all the way to the top of the screen to select from the quick access toolbar. So that's completely up to you. You know, if you want to don't if you want to stay fit and trim, put it back in the upper left hand corner. <laughs> so I actually prefer it in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to put mine back, but. You're gonna set it up to work the way that you like to work. All right, now, in two more weeks, I'm gonna show you how to add a drop down to the quick access toolbar so you can get even more commands on there. But until then, I hope you have a great rest of the week and I'll see you back for my next AutoCAD tip, courtesy of Catalyst. Thank you.